Hey, good afternoon, everybody. A couple months ago, I did a video on why you shouldn't use your self-directed IRA to invest in rental property. And I'm preparing this presentation for something later this afternoon. And I'm starting to change my mind a little bit. But initially why I said that is when you put a rental property or real estate inside of a self-directed IRA, you, you can cancel out the tax benefits of that investment. And so that's why I was against it. However, I think there are some circumstances that you could consider when you're thinking about doing this. So the first thing is with the self-directed IRA, you wanna make sure it's in a Roth IRA. With real estate, you can accumulate some massive gains. And if they're in a Roth IRA, when you go to take the distributions after you retire, you're not gonna pay any taxes on any of that money. Uh, so make sure it's in a Roth. The second thing is the beauty of real estate is you get monthly cash flow. So if you're in a position where that doesn't matter to you and you don't need it, then this may be a good option for you. The third thing is depreciation. And usually you can use depreciation. It's kind of a, a paper loss to help you offset some of your other income depending on your overall income. So if you don't need that or your income's too high to where you can't benefit, this may be something to look at. A couple of things to keep in mind. With a self-directed IRA owning the property, you are not allowed to use this personally. So if you're thinking about going and buying a beach house and then you and your family going down for a couple of weeks during the summer, you're not allowed to use it. So all you can do is manage the property. You can't even paint the walls. So if something needs to be repaired, you've got to hire somebody to come paint it. And all of those expenses are paid out through the IRA. The second thing to consider is this point number two at the bottom of the slide. It's UDFI tax. That's unrelated debt finance income. If you use debt alone to buy the property, you will end up paying a tax because you've used debt to profit. Uh, so if you're not able, I would encourage you to, to buy, or, you know, buy the property in cash. That way you avoid this tax. But if you have to borrow money in order to buy the property, just be aware that you could face or you would face this unrelated debt finance income tax. Um, also, the loan can't be a, re a recourse loan, meaning you personally can't be held responsible. So it has to be non-recourse. Um, so those are just some things to keep in mind. If you have any questions about this, I'd be glad to hop on a call and see if I can help you. And hope everybody's doing well. And we'll see you next time. Thank you.